So the first one we have here is fear of making mistakes. And to me, this appears to be one of the biggest challenges learners of English as a second language face. They fear making mistakes because English isn't their native language, especially when they are being taught by native speakers. They fear to, make, to express themselves because they are afraid of making mistakes. Then secondly, we have potential language barriers. Like I said earlier, English isn't their first uh, native language. So there's always a barrier of moving from their native language to English. Because speaking in a second language is not just about writing and reading. You got to learn to think in that language, in the target language is English language. So sometimes they face the challenge of potential language barrier where they would have to try to think in English language before they could express themselves in English language. And sometimes most of them do not actually think in English. And what they do is to first think in their own language and try to translate into the English language, which could cause a kind of a setback to them. Now, apart from that too, the desire to be adjust smart. Normally, when English is taught as a second language, it is not just a language or a subject. It goes beyond that. It serves as a service subject because other subjects are taught in English language. So it becomes a parameter for judging whether students are smart or not. So when such happens, the desire to be a job smart becomes a challenge to learners of English as a second language, which could lead to the first point we have raised, which is what fear. They fear to make mistakes because they want to be a job smart. So there is so much tension here on them in the classroom. Sometimes, even when they know answers, they find it so difficult to express themselves because they want to be a short smart, fear of making mistakes, fear of failure. Then we have lack of perceived success. Sometimes when these learners make mistakes, uh, when they, they, make, they make efforts, the assessment procedure adopted by the teacher could make them have what we call lack of perceived success the grading system and other factors could make them feel their hands doing so fine, causing them a kind of demotivation. They get demotivated and it makes teaching English as a second language not just difficult, but also making learning needs as a second language difficult to these students, posing a lot of challenges to them. They get demotivated. And in this case, the teacher has to do a hard work to make them motivated. Next slide. Yeah, just to say that there are a couple of uh, messages from, from people in the chat, but people are sending them directly to me. So, okay. I'm, I, so I'm just going to say to people, don't send them directly to me, send them to everyone so everyone can see them. So okay. there's a couple of things here about using mother tongue, about pronunciation, so about, okay. uh, about, about not having... The, the sounds uh, of English in their native language. So people have contributed, but they're sending them directly to me. So please, people, don't send them directly to me, send them to everyone so that everyone can see it. So oh. back over to you, Aminat. Okay. Um, on those ones that were actually sent to you, Gary, I quite agree with them. These are some of all the other challenges learners of English at the second language truly face. Some of these sounds do not exist in their native language, and it becomes problematic for them to pronounce some sounds that are in the, in the English language. Okay, so when all this happens, what happened? The teacher continues to spin his or her will, that is, he or she is not able to make so much progress. Teaching is not productive if all these challenges are not well managed. So, here, and that's where motivation comes in. Everybody needs a degree of motivation to keep them moving. Motivation becomes a vital tool in the hands of the teacher of English as a second language if all these challenges have to be overcome. In other words, the teacher has the role of trying to help the learners in ESL classes to overcome all these challenges that we have mentioned and those ones that have been sent in by participants, the owners is on the teacher to ensure it makes the class as motivating as possible, to make it as engaging as possible, to make it as creative as possible, to make the class fun. 
so that learners would not be demotivated, rather they would be motivated to learn English as a second language.